Now Ruby does some very cool things when it comes to reading files in. So let's see what we can do right here. I'm gonna say, start off with Teams. And so we're gonna be storing the contents of our Teams file into this variable. So I'm gonna say file.read and then pass in the path. So in this case, it's gonna be files-lessons and then teams.text. Okay, now if I do p teams right here and come back and type Ruby and this is, what is the directory? This is files lessons and then read a file. You can see it prints out the file contents just like that. So that's very cool. Now, what if we actually wanted to do something with this? So uh, getting it in as a, uh, getting it in as a, string is nice, but what if we wanted to take the contents of this Teams file and put it into an array? We could do something like this. So if I do that, come back, run it. You can see it got turned into an array, but uh, notice that it has these little commas. That wouldn't be very helpful. So uh, come back to split. Remember, split does take an argument of a string, and it's whatever you want the uh, kind of that delimitator to be. So if I come back here, run it again, and now you can see we have converted that file into an array of, uh, uh, of teams, which is pretty neat. So that is one thing you can do. But now say they had multiple files with teams and you wanted to get them all in and you wanted to all get them in with arrays. You could do something like this. So that's teams one and this one's going to be teams two and right here it's uh, this file is called other underscore teams and i'm going to just do this and teams two split and put in a comma here and I'll give this a space and give this a space so that we have everything spaced out properly. Now, if I come back and run this, oh, Lacey, it says undefined local variable teams. What did I do? Um, let's see, we have team. Oh, yeah, that was dumb. There, that one was already right. Okay, perfect. When you change your variable names, make sure you change everything. There you go, and look at that. We were able to take the different values. So we were able to take the values from that file and we're able to convert that not only into an array, but we're able to convert it into multiple arrays and then put it all into one Ruby program. And then we could do anything we wanted here. So say that if we wanted a Teams master array right here, which we know that we already have that value. And what if we want to do teams master dot each do team, and then we could do anything we wanted. So we could say upcase here, except we're going to print it out. And, and let's run this. And there you go, look at that. It We're able to take a file that has different values in it and in multiple files, combine all of it, and then start treating it like real Ruby objects and doing something practical with it. So if you went through that, great job. You should now have a good understanding on how to read files in, manipulate them, and start turning them into things you can use in a real program.